In this video, I'm going to explain how you can become a developer prompt engineer. According to Euronews.com, salaries for this position range from $175,000 a year to $335,000 a year. They claim it's in high demand right now. I'll explain why that is and what you would need to learn to become a prompt engineer. You've probably heard that ChatGPT version 4 just came out. I was surprised to find out that the knowledge of ChatGPT GPT-4 is still limited to before September 2021. At first, I didn't quite understand why there hasn't been an update to the data. I would have thought with the new GPT-4 release, the data would be up to 2023, the year GPT-4 came out. I didn't understand at first, but now I think I have a better grasp of it. ChatGPT was able to learn how to respond to questions and perform tasks well enough with the data it had been given before September 20. 2021. So instead of focusing on continuing to add more and more data, OpenAI transitioned its focus toward opening up the system to developers and improving how well GPT responds to questions and performs tasks rather than storing up more data. And here's the big one. I think OpenAI probably realized that users themselves can provide the specific information that AI needs instead of OpenAI hoarding all the data themselves themselves. This is where a developer prompt engineer comes in. By using what are called prompts, users can give GPT new information that it doesn't already know. GPT can then respond accordingly based on the new information it's been given. So you can actually teach GPT what you want it to know using prompts, and GPT will, in real time, update its responses based on the knowledge you give it in your conversation with GPT. Here are some examples. Let's say you need GPT to generate code based on a specific coding guideline. Maybe sometime in the future, React is on version 100 and it has a lot of really cool new features. You could tell GPT, I'm first going to ask what version of React do you know? As you can see, ChatGPT only knows React 17, even though React 18 has been released as of the making of this video. If you ask it a simple question, question like, how do you create a component with React? It will give you this example of a component built with React. Now let's prompt it with some new fake information and watch it update. Here's an example prompt. React just came out with a new version, version 100 in the year 2030. It is currently the year 2030. I'm going to teach you the new way to create React components in 2030. Do you understand? Let's Let's see if it understands. As you can see, it says, you are welcome to share the new way to create React components in 2030, and I will try to help answer any questions you may have. So let's say in React 100, you have to write the word computation, bro, before the names of all your components. Create an example component, the React. 100 way. And as you can see, in real time, it updated how it creates components. It added computation bro before my component. This is an example of how a developer could build on top of the knowledge base of GPT using prompts to train GPT to be a better assistant. An important thing to know about this is GPT did not learn this. The information that you just gave it will not be saved to its main knowledge base that's used for everyone. The reason is probably what you just saw. OpenAI doesn't want people teaching ChatGPT a bunch of fake information. Imagine if it would have learned to add computation bro in front of all React components. Tomorrow, everyone in the world asking ChatGPT about components would see the word computation bro in front of their components. This would lead to mass chaos, the power grid going down, and the end of civilization as we know it. That is why ChatGPT has wisely bound new user information to the conversation thread the user 
created. And so from now on, if I asked GPT to create a React component in this conversation thread, it would always put computation bro in front of the component. But if I started a new conversation and asked it, create a new component, the React 100 way, watch what happens. As you can see, it doesn't think that React 100 exists because this is a new chat with a new set of prompts. And it will go through the process of telling you the old way to create a component, the React 17 way. And that is how you can become a developer prompt engineer. I recently heard Sam Altman, one of the founders of OpenAI, talk about prompt engineering in general. He said the best prompt engineers he's seen will spend 10 to 12 hours a day experimenting with GPT and other AI services to find out how the system reacts to prompts. It's something you can experiment with. And if you get good enough at it, you may could get a job as a prompt engineer worth $175,000 to $335,000 a year, according to Euronews.com. Like this video if you'd like to see more content like this. If you have any good prompts, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.